got the old Ludwig brake beats out. These kits are really good. I don't care what anybody says. The fact that they're made with a cheap wood and all that never really bothered me. Never even bothered me at all when I would get a kit back in the days instead of blowing two or three grand on a set. You know, this I got for $2.99 at Guitar Center about six years ago. Now they sell for about five, six hundred because of inflation. Anyway, I got them tuned up pretty high for pretty much like jazz bop. Not that I play it much, but I like to noodle around down here and I got some great cymbals hooked up. And the kick, I just love the kick. You know, you really have to learn how to use something like this. It's a 16 inch kit. I see guys bury the beater in the kick all the time like this. And then they're like, then they're like, hey, you know, that bass drum sucks. You know, I can't make it sound good. It's just a little tiny 16. The trick is, you got to feather it, you know, you don't hit it hard. This is not a heavy metal drum set. And, you know, usually I keep the tune, tuning on the toms lower, but today, like I said, I got them up higher, so the toms are... The only problem I really have with this kit is... The toms go out of tune quick. I need to replace the heads, I think, soon because I'm using G2 coated on the 10 and 13 and an Evans UV1 on the snare drum. And I, I just replaced the snares yesterday on this snare drum. I wasn't liking the sound I was getting. But, you know... For its purpose... Just for jamming down here, it's great. I've been using this kit on all my gigs for the past five years. It beats towing around a lot of stuff. This is great. I coupled this up with some cymbals. I got some 12-inch uh, medium HH Sabians. Virgil Donati used these on a drum clinic, and I bought them right after he was done with them. I thought they were so cool, you know. The old HH line was great. I don't know what they did to it. They came out with a new Sabian line. I bought them. They're the uh, complex, but these hats are just amazing. They got a beautiful tone on them. I got my trusty old 20 inch K. Can't go wrong with a 20-inch K regular crack ride. These are the best, probably, rides, you know, Zildjian makes. Over here, we got a Byzance. This is a extra dark Byzance 16-inch crash. Real dark, I love it. And this is the baby right here. The baby of all flat rides. I thought it would be cool back in the day I had this compulsion to go out by the 20, I think it was a 20 inch uh, Peisty 602 flat ride. It was beautiful. It had that nice, nice glisten tone. I, I dig Pat Metheny and I hear it all over the records and Paul Wertical was on the old stuff. And the more I listened to the, the older flat rides, the 602s, whatever they came out with, they were a brilliant finish. But recently, within the past two years, Pisces Masters put out a dark flat ride, and the 22 is just great. It's dark. It's got this nice dark... Well, that's why they call it dark. It's got this really, really nice mellow, pleasant, dark tone, and the crash is wonderful as well. So this was my first really go-to big flat ride. They weren't making them in 22, but this thing's a beast, and I could see it working great with two rivets or even one, but I, I could not do that to this symbol. This thing was like 650 brand new, and I'm not going to put no holes in it. 
And over here, this was my answer to finding a more modern <clears throat> um, swish knocker. I thought, you know, the newer, I've already discussed this, the newer, you know, swishes weren't doing it for me. First of all, the 20 rivets was bad. And that, on, on the new Zildjian's, that was bad enough. But they weren't nickel. And that made it bad. And the tone of the modern day Swish by Zildjian is just, I, I, I it was horrible. It's terrible. I, I think a good spec for a um, modern day Swish knocker by Zildjian should be a 22 inch low China with six rivets because that's the best low sound. You know, you get this really nice low, not high pitched trill sound. But anyway, Byzance came out with this about 12 years ago, and I saw it. It's called the Byzance 22-inch Jazz China Ride. And it's got, what's it got? Six, eight rivets. And through the years, I've been using this, and it's, it's gotten, it's lost a lot of its tone, but it takes on a different character, a more trashy character, which is interesting in itself. Because now, instead of playing it, you know, and not inverted, you know, regular side up, I flip it over and I use it as a regular China too. But anyway, to make a long story short, it's a really good ride symbol as well. It's got this nice... Nice ta, like you would find on the older Ks. So, and then when you add in the swish or the, the sill, you know, the rivets... symbols together it, it, it goes pretty good i got sabian zildjian byzance and peisty all together and you know they're not a group of symbols that come in a pack i've been getting stuck on the symbol pack for a while i've already bought in a couple i bought the complex series a couple months back by sabian and i love them they're similar to k's and I really love the hi-hats on that set. Um, and I also bought the Suite, the K-Suite, which came with a 15-inch hi-hats, 17, 19-inch crashes, and 21-inch Suite ride. I like that symbol setup a lot. I really did. But I got rid of the 15s. They weren't doing it for me. I'm thinking in the 15 line, I'd probably go with something more like uh, Sabian's 15-inch uh, groove hi-hats. I have a 13. They're fabulous hi-hats so i just figured i'd do a little demo on the kit you know when these are mic'd up they sound great i mean the kick for classic rock the stuff i do it cuts through everything with a mic and i usually just put one overhead and it picks up the toms and it's a simple kit to mic up a simple kit to fit any stage you know I would say crowds up to one to 300, 400, maybe even 500. Who knows? People probably use these on huge stages, so I guess that doesn't really matter. But this is what the whole kit sounds like together. 